Grace, peace, and mercy be unto you from God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Manny Renee, I have to my left. Minister Keith Doggett. Amen. So another thing we're going to talk about is we don't receive from the Lord is speaking of things that are not, not as though they are. Speaking of things that are not as though they are. Well, a lot of people think, right, you know, um, we don't understand that when we pray to God for something, our speech have something to be um, very important how we receive from the Lord. Right. Um, you know, well, let's put this way. I remember as a Christian, you know, um, start a young Christian that I couldn't speak things that they are because I'm like, how, how can I speak something that's not as though they are? I, I felt I was being hypocritical. I got to call it for what it is. You know, I got to call my reality, but I, I figure out that's not the way God's work. Right. You you don't call some, you don't want something new and something better and calling it as it is. It is re reaffirming your reality. But if you want something different, you got to say it's going to be better. Right. Because sometimes it's hard to say that when you live in it, when you're in it, when you're dealing with it. It's hard to see something better. But if you're going to receive from the Lord, you got to call those things that are not as though they are. Romans 17 talk about when Abraham um, was body was yet dead. He began to give glory to God. He began to see himself holding the baby. He began to see himself, his body coming back to life again and having this baby. So he began to, that's agreement with God. Calling things as, uh, 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 that are not as though they are is coming into the place of talking like God and reacting like God and being like God because God speaks those things that they are. When there was darkness, he said, let there be light. You see, he didn't say, oh, oh, it's dark. <laughs> if he said it was dark, it was always going to be dark. So he didn't speak the darkness. He spoke the light. Amen. Amen. When water was over the earth, it's not that there was, he created new earth. The earth was already created, but it was in chaos. He said, let the waters go down so we can see the earth. If I had to paraphrase, that's what he said. Let the waters go down so we can see the earth. So the water dry, um, dried up, and then we see the earth come up. It was always there. But what he had to do is speak those things that are not as though they are. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. So for us to walk in that level, yes. we have to start speaking those things that we don't see, those things we can't touch, those things we can't comprehend, and speak it. It's better, let me tell you, it's better to speak that than to speak the negativity. Right. Because I realize when you talk about problems, the problem becomes worse. That's when you talk about an issue, the issue becomes wor worse. And that's why the enemy put pressure to talk about the issue instead of you talking about what you want and what God wants you to do and the way he wants you to do it. Um, 1 Corinthians 1. I think we were there already. Well, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 1, verse 27 to 28. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised have God chosen. Yea, and, and things which are not to bring to, to naught things are, uh, that are. So he said, bring um, God brought um, the things that wasn't to become. So a lot of times what you're looking for is in the realm of the invisible. And your speech make them to become um, from the world of the spirit and to come into the realm of the physical. So this is what you call physical manifestation. It is done through the speaking of those things. So a lot of times you may be like, well, I don't believe it. I'm not going to say it. No. Let me tell you something. Go say to yourself, yellow car. Yellow car. Yellow car. Speak that. And I bet you today when you go outside, all you're going to see is what? The yellow cars. So why don't you speak? I'm wealthy. Once you speak, I'm here. Yes, sir. Once you say, I'm free. Mm -hmm. Don't you say, I have the joy of the Lord. Yes, I have the peace of God. Yes, I have the goodness of the Lord. Yes, Christians sometimes can be the most negative people in the world. Yes. Because a lot of times we are supposed to be believers. Yes. But sometimes we act like unbelievers. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Now, the Bible way to change things is to call things that be not as though they are. Amen. Amen. Well, let's give you a couple more scriptures and then we're done. Second Corinthians um, chapter 4, verse 17 to 18. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal word of glory. While we look at not the things which are seen, but the things which are, um, which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So what the Bible is saying, and I'm going to say it, paraphrase it in a way that probably make you feel uncomfortable. So what he's saying that the things that you can't see, which is the spiritual world, is more real than the physical world. So what he's saying that the natural world does not change the physical world, but the spiritual world changed the physical world. So this is why, as long as you're acting as carnal, you can never change physical things. But if you act as spirit, that's why the Bible says in the book of Romans, if you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So you have to understand that, hey, I'm a spirit person. Yes. A spirit person can change physical things in this world. Yes, sir. Come on. Hmm? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Because why? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to say that. Physical, the physical world move and change, right, at the voice of a spiritual being. So if you begin to act like God by speaking things, you begin to change things as God changed things. And it's all scriptures, Genesis. He said, let there be light. There was light. Um, there was darkness in the physical world. But he spoke light. So guess what happened? Because God is spirit, he changed whatever he needs to be. The command of a spirit being can change the physical realm of this reality. Yes. Yes. That's why the enemy always trying to keep you in the carnal so you can change them. See, I'm taking it easy because there's some things I I can put it who don't sound religious. It don't sound, but it's Bible. Right. It's right. Bible. Right. Just a different way of saying it, but it's Bible. It make you feel uncomfortable, but it's Bible. So you out here talking death and destruction all day, and you crying. Oh, the devil not, and devil doing nothing. You did it. You caused it. And not only is it important, but speech is important, but thoughts is important too, because. Thoughts are unspoken words that go up in the air. That's why the first thing that Paul said, he didn't say renew your mouth. He said renew your mind. Because if you renew your mind, it will direct your mouth. A lot of people are trying to change their speech without changing their thought. But to change your speech, you're going to have to change your thought. And you're still creating, even though your mouth, you didn't speak it, somebody's picking it up in the air and it's changing things. That's what the Bible calls certain things evil imagination, which is evil thoughts and thinking. Sometimes what you see happening is how you think about yourself. Anyway, stop right. I'm going to stop right. Too much. You have something to say? Bring the Old Testament. I think it's a real. That's the Bible. That's whatever man think of in his heart. He didn't say whatever man speak it. He said whatever man think of in his mind, that's why he is. So this is a confirmation of what I just said to you. Mind, even though you don't say nothing, mind change things too. How you think is changing things around you. Amen. Okay, so um, Mr. Keith is going to bring us. Well, I, pers- I pray the word bless you and strengthen you and keep you. You got some out of it in the name of the Lord Jesus. But those of you who don't know Jesus, Lord and Savior of your life, Minister Keep gonna lead you and direct you. You can use your mouth in the right way to bring life into your life. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to give this invitation to you to accept Jesus Christ as the last your personal Savior. I want you to speak to the Lord with your mouth. Because what you speak is eternal life. Because Jesus Christ is the eternal life. You know, and I just come to let you know that that there's a time that we're living in 
that we gotta draw nigh to God, go draw nigh to God, and and connect to God and accept Jesus Christ in your life as your personal savior, because He's the only way. We thought the way was our way, it failed us. Everything failed us. But I just wanna let you know that Jesus will never fail you. That you could call upon Him, and He will answer you. So I want you to say this in His prayer. I confess with my mouth. I believe in my heart, the Lord Jesus, that you died for me and you rose the third day. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I repent of my sins. I turn away from my sin. Lord Jesus, I accept you in my life as my personal Savior, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, if you have said that, welcome to the family of God. And if you um, don't have a church home, you can, you know, you can come here at Matan Worldwide Ministry, 133-15 Rockwood Boulevard. We have service on Sundays at 8 a.m., 8.15 a.m., discipleship class, 10, um, service at 10 a.m. On Tuesday, we have Bible study at 7 p.m. And on Thursday, we have prayer and the word at 7 p.m. to 8 o'clock. So all are welcome. You can come, bring your family, your children, whoever. Amen. So um, if you look at um, Friday's um, Giving Friday, there's some dollar sign, cash app up there, or something like that, uh, email Rene 50, and uh, dollar sign, my design, um, um, my design 133, right? It's what it is. My dollar sign, my design 133. You can give unto them in any way that you want to give. I pray that the word bless you and strengthen you. Uh, you got something out of it. My name is Pastor, yes, Mr. Peebles. Don't forget the voice of the prophet. Yeah. Monday to Friday, our very own, our prophet, Pastor Manny Renee. I'm telling you, you come 10, 10, 10 to a.m. from Monday to Friday. You hear this word, your life will never be the same. Amen. I pray the word bless you. We have one more thing to say to you.